Hey y'all, hey, it's Char, and I'm back with a planner flip through video. As promised in my previous video, which was a planner haul, I was going to get into the good stuff with this mindfulness planner that I picked up from Aldi. I don't know if it's Aldi's Aldi, however, um, but I did get it there. Um, again, the price was $7.99, so let's just get into this planner and see what it has to offer. So I did go ahead and kind of zoom in so you guys can see. Again, this is this beautiful blush pink. It is the daintiest, just cutest um, blush pink color. It has this gold and the gold is matte. And then it has this like shiny band to hold the planner together. Again, I am going to read what it has inside. It is a mindfulness planner that is hardcover, ring bound, 52 weeks of wellness journaling, two sticker sheets, mindful activity pages, and printed dividers. All right, so let's go ahead and open her up. See what she's looking like. Let's keep it this way so you guys can kind of see the main core of the planner here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of those new planners that the Happy Planner is coming out with in the work and life collection that's kind of how that one is it's like a binder this one is smaller though but as you can see it is a little bent here and there was only two of these left and they both were this way so it is a little bent there which you guys know drives us planners nuts when something is creased but that is okay so it has this sticker page and it looks like this sticker is coming off already all right, so it has these cute, um, like, wellness planners. They have different things like 100%, slow and steady, get it done. It's okay to not be okay. I can do hard things, stay hydrated, recharge, be mindful, a girl doing yoga. Hello, I am enough. Just really cute. Let me zoom in a little for you guys. Really cute. Um, motivational inspirational stickers these stickers are that shiny if you guys can see it's kind of the shiny material I am not the biggest fan of shiny stickers but I think that these would be okay because they are not stickers that need to be written on so that is one of the sticker sheets that you get inside there and then we have another set of uh, stickers here and they say things like just be happy, celebrate every win, no matter how small growth is a process. And then it has these little tabs at the bottom. And to be completely honest, unless you have like a Sharpie or something like that, those will probably be very difficult to write on and not smear. So I probably would use these and omit these in any type of planning process that I use these with. So let me go ahead and go back in so you guys can see. And then the first divider page says, make yourself a priority with this beautiful purple here. It does have three, it is a three ring binder there. And oh, so irritated those pages are bent. Then it has um, like inspirational quote that says, be mindful, be grateful, be positive, be kind, be true and be kind. And then this page has affirmations and it says, use the petals of this flower to practice positive thinking and self-talk. Label each petal with a positive affirmation. So that is nice. So you put I am and then you put something positive there. So I do like that. And then here we have, let me zoom in again for you guys. Hopefully I feel like it's a little, there we go, out of focus. So this is kind of like a graft area and it says thoughts and feelings that came up this week. So this must be something that you would do at the end of the week. And then it says what went well this week and what could be better next week. And then over here, you have this weekly food diary that is Monday through Sunday and it has breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, exercise and any notes that you want to put on the side there so that is good if you're trying to watch what you're eating or trying to monitor what you're eating and then it just has a total of oh i missed a page oh i missed a couple pages oh gosh y'all okay 
So after that weekly food um, chart, then you have the week beginning and then it has intentions for the week and there's a box there. Sleep tracker, Monday, I mean, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it has PM and AM. And then it has water intake notes and then it says color in the drops of water to indicate what you have drunk each day. And then we get into this page here, which I think is probably the section that I like the most. And it has self-care goals for this week and then the activity and the date and time that you did it. And then it says, this week I am grateful for, and then you have some bullets there, and then gestures of kindness. So little kind acts of kindness that you do, um, like opening a door, um, buying somebody lunch, things like that, you can write down there. And then it starts back over um, with the thoughts and feelings and then the weekly food diary. So let's see how many more of these we have. So this is 52 weeks. So I'm not sure I'll have to try to break down what would be in each section. But after you get through, because let me see how many sections are here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections total. And then at the back of the page, you have this, this notes and reflections section here. And then we have another divider that says a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. And I'm just going to show you guys the dividers from here on out because everything else is the same. This page is bent, driving me nuts. <laughs> Um, but it was like that when I got it. And like I said, I think these these may have come out, I believe, at the beginning of the year. And this is kind of what was left. But I did not know. I know they had planners, but I did not know they had mindfulness planners. So when I seen this, I was very, very intrigued. Um, this is a divider here that says, accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. So I love the dividers in here. Very inspirational and motivational. And I love the colors here, like these kind of calm, like muted colors, like navy and peach and orange. I love myself. I accept myself. I forgive myself. So, I mean, just for the dividers alone for eight bucks, I mean, definitely worth it. I'm going to really try to push myself to actually use this planner because um, like I said um, I had another planner I can't think which one it was but I, I I need to actually focus on whether I'm doing self-care things like planning them out in advance making sure I stick to that or I will just get caught up in all that I have to do you know for others and my family and not kind of hone in on me like I need to so this is something I really am going to try to focus on doing and actually using um, this um, speaking of that this divider says self-care doing the things that make you feel more like yourself and then this beautiful um, divider says, what makes me unique is what makes me beautiful. Love that. And then this last divider says, if you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. Oh, I like that. And then at the very back of it, I'm going to zoom in again. This is a section and it says better, this um, is labeled as awareness, better emotional clarity. In our daily lives, we experience a range of emotions that differ in severity. Each day, use the will below to help you identify and articulate how you truly feel. Learning to identify our emotions promotes a greater self-awareness and understanding as well as insight. So I do love that. And I'm going to really, really zoom in and I'm going to pick this up to show this to you guys, but it has like startled, confused, amazed, playful. So it has these different emotions and feelings, hesitant, shocked, dismayed. And they aren't just the average like feelings. It's really things to get into like humiliated, let down, distant. I mean, it's really, really diving into um, how you may be feeling for the day. And it's not generic emotions. It's really emotions that really describe and tackle how you'll be feeling that day. So I do love that. And then after awareness, 
Um, this section says self-care. Self-care is the practice of taking any action to the to preserve or improve your well-being. It's also about knowing when your resources are running low and giving yourself the time and space to recharge and take care of yourself. Make self-care a non-reschedulable appointment with yourself. I love that. Non-reschedulable appointment with yourself. I love it. I had to, to stop and pause. Schedule it in your calendar and set reminders if needed. Use the weekly self-care page prompts in this planner to set times for self-care. So this is exactly what I was saying, guys. I need this to check in. And that, I mean, I could not have said it better. That's exactly what I was trying to articulate. So I do like that. And then this is a categories of self-care. So they have mental down, spiritual down, emotional, physical, social, and professional. And it gives you examples. Like for professional, it says sticking to your lunch breaks, not eating at your desk, work-free vacations, leaving work each day at the same time, creating boundaries at your workplace by learning how to say no and giving yourself permission to switch off after hours. If this ain't saying it, oh my goodness, categories, love this, love, love, love this. I may even copy this just for once I use this whole planner up. Wow, love that. And then this self-care section says setting self-care goals. Consider all areas of self-care. Write goals to address the areas in which you feel you will benefit the most by improving. So mental self-care goals, spiritual self-care goals, emotional. So all the ones they just explained, it is having you actually write down how you can address those things. So I love that. Love, love, love that. I didn't even notice this section in the back, but this is very powerful. And then acts of kindness was that section there. And it just says, use kindness prompts in this planner to encourage you to engage in weekly acts of kindness. Here are some examples. Offered help an elderly person with their groceries. Pay someone an unexpected compliment. Clean up litter, things like that. So I love that because it is trying to have you be a service to other people. And then we have gratitude and gratitude unlocks the fullness of life and turns what we have into enough. Why practice gratitude and a gratitude vision board building activity. And then here it just says you will put down people I am grateful for and people I am grateful for. There's two pages of that. And then experiences and places I am grateful for. Experiences and places I'm grateful for. So it's just helping you show gratitude. Things I am grateful for and things I am grateful for. And then you have more notes and reflections pages there. And then that is the end. I really like this, guys. This, as far as a mindfulness planner, I feel like this planner has tackled everything you need to create a mindful environment for yourself. I am really looking forward to using this planner. Again, I got it at Aldi for $7.99. I am hoping that you guys can get your hands on it because Aldi has things that come and go. It was in the aisle that has like the special items. This is the barcode if it is going to help you locate it, but I do really love it. I love the color. I love what it stands for, and I'm definitely going to try to utilize this. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful. If you are an oldie but a goodie, as always, thank you so, so much for stopping back by. And if you are a newbie, I hope you enjoyed this video enough to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.